So welcome to another exciting weekend and I'm here to give you all the juicy updates you missed on the Table of Life Entertainment TV. This is Entertainment Extra with your girl Nanaya Tanwa Bwache and I want to say that big shout out to everyone that watched on Saturday. I mean I see the numbers increasing from episode 1 to episode 2 and today we are here to give you episode 3. It's going to be an exciting one. My name again is Nanaya Tanwa Bwache. Now let's roll. We're going to start with an interesting tweet and Nikki Samona's posted and it's interesting that in today's world we have the generation Z and the gen generation alpha that's the generation A a lot of things happen on social media everybody's living a carefree life I mean social media is more like a make-believe that sometimes you look at people's pictures you feel like nothing is actually going on but then Nikki said something interesting this week and she said lately I have noticed that everybody looks okay until you eventually have a deep conversation with them. And then you realize that this is a sad generation of people struggling to survive through smiling faces and pity pictures. I mean, that is very, 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 very true. Because you and I know that when you take your Instagram or X or go on Snapchat, when you start rolling, you see flashy things. People are just showing off. It could be their phones. It could be their new hair. It could be something... Um, extravagance let me just use that word but you don't know what is happening behind the scenes so she is saying that in this generation we just hide our sorrowfulness and things behind and just come out and look happy but it's not like that i don't know what you are going through but each and everyone has a problem but then if you look at social media and how things always evolve you think people don't have a problem this week, we saw what uh, a small girl has posted. Uh, it's like, she, I'm using her as an example. She doesn't care. According to her, her mother even feels like she wants to do certain things. But, I mean, deep down, you don't know what exactly she's going through. You might see a friend posting a new hair, new dress. You don't know how the person got it. But what I'm trying to say is that I agree with Nikki Samonas for that particular tweet. You don't know what people are going through. But once in a while, as humans, we have to what, check up on our friends. You never know who or wh what you might save or who you might help. So we start on that note and then move away from that to something exciting that happened what am i talking about i'm talking about the 19th edition of ghana party in the park festival ah let me sing this song my voice is not good but then let me give you the gist i can give you the gist better than singing for you now party in the park um has been going on over the years and this year was actually the 19th edition and it happened at the oak hill park and Ghanaian actually really represented i mean the festival is for ghana so um just listen to the name ghana party in the park i mean the ghanaians really really went to have fun you could see the flashy cars you could see the girls looking dapper you could see nyash you could see nails you could see hair you see the uk vibes in a and also our ghanaian artists were actually there to actually perform and it was amazing like i i sang earlier Kim Paluta, I mean, this guy is enjoying our reigning best new artist of the year. And he did amazing. It was electrifying. He was prepared and he delivered point on point. Others also delivered. Like um, Kitty, like Wendy Shea, the, some of the Asaka boys. And also the DWP squad. I mean, what is a party without dancers? And actually, they delivered. Now, my problem, when I say my problem, I mean, I have a say. I said this on the table of life, and I'm going to share it with you here. That over the years, we've seen how party in the park has evolved, and it's been so good. I mean, even last year, the turnout was sort of like low, but this year, people actually came to represent Ghana. You could see that Ghanaian, the Ghanaian community actually came to uh, represent the motherland. But the only problem I personally had was the fact that, in as much as the artists were there to perform, also make the crowd happy, the crowd were not receptive. They were not meeting with the energy. I I mean, if Kiddy is on stage, you know that 10 out of 10, he's giving you the energy. Kim Paluta always delivers. Wendy Shea was whining her waist, showing the nyash, but then the crowd was not really responsive. And I always say that if you are going for a festival, you 
have to be prepared. I would say some were prepared, some were not really prepared. But then again, people had fun. I was saying on the table of life that we have to commend uh, Aquaba UK for doing such an amazing thing over the years. Uh, Dennis has been giving us back to back, um, I mean, representation of the motherland outside. Our artists go there and then they sell us. Now, what the crowd needs to do is to have fun, show the world that they are enjoying what uh, we are giving to them, as in the artists are producing to them. If the Nigerians are doing it with the Odogus, the Vena Boys, with the 80,000 capacity filling the stadium, you see the crowd always go there prepared. So as a Ghanaian, if you are also going for Ghana party in the park festival, you should be prepared. You should come knowing Kim Paluta's song. You should know the new song, Makoma. You should know Aseda. You should know Yahete. Kidi giving you uh, different kinds of song each and every time. It's new and dangerous. When the show was also, you see the problem, with when he shares performances. You know how she always performs so good. She takes her time. But then the crowd were not really receptive. The Asaka boys, Beast Trap was there. And to link it, ah, ah, ah. I, 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 I felt within me that I was forgetting somebody. It was to link it. To link it did so, so good with a new song. I mean, they'll play it for you. We'll dance one, and then we'll continue with that. But then here are some of the highlights of Party in the Park, the 19th edition that happened in Oak Hill Park in UK. Check it out, and we'll be right back. UK, I'm saying this, you have to come and invite us on the table of life. I mean, there are specific people you guys pick every time. We are also, I mean, entertainment uh, journalists, and also we talk about party in the park any day, anytime. So, DJ Mensa, Dennis, I'm throwing it to you. We also want to go there and have fun. Even if we have to show them that, yes, we are bringing the energy. Because me, I party every December, and I know how I bring my energy. But then, away from that, let's move on to um, our very own beloved. Who doesn't love this particular artist? I'm talking about Divine Okobu. I hope I mentioned the name right. But you know him as Rema. And Rema has been doing amazing over the years. If you watch most of his interviews, he tells you about his life story, uh, how his process has been over the years, even before 
he actually uh, met Don Jazzy and he became like the superstar you are seeing now and enjoying. Now, Arama made some revelations when he was uh, having an interview that he actually worked at a Ghanaian beach bar uh, in, the, in his early stages, even before becoming a musician. He disclosed that he actually lost um, his brother, lost his dad, and so things became very, very tough. And at that point, he had to do certain things. And one of the things that he did was to work at a beach bar in Ghana. And this is why I asked the question, which beach bar? He should have mentioned the name. So that we know and we weigh the MS, the monthly salary, so that we can, we can check if it was, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know which beach bar it was. I'm trying to guess, but it's, it's not really coming. But then if he actually worked at a beach bar and it actually really helped, hey, then it paid all. Because, you know, these foreigners come into Ghana to do petty, petty trades and work for them. But beach bar there, it's on a whole different level. But then this is what Rema had to say. Let's check it out. At some point, things got hard. Okay. And I had to man up. My past life ha has the same effect on my present life. I had to like work hard because I lost my brother and I lost my dad. Oh, and I was the only one. Yeah. Things were left to me. Right. You know, okay. I had to put things in place. Wow. Yeah. So I had to just work hard. You know, I did all sorts of jobs. I worked at a bar beach. Oh, a bar that beach. First, yeah, that was my first job in okay. Ghana. Monday morning, talking about me while I'm making money. <laughs> No gonna take it easy on my head. No gonna take it easy on my head. Hipa, no gonna, no gonna. A cabala on the reserve the politician. They say I live like a froster. We know the show one for Insta. Scatter the dog will be enter. We know the shame for the vegas. Anybody talk any how he go in your full stop. You no gonna know go snake up hot boxing on my way to the peak of five years a day, get my day stick and beat us. Morning morning. You've not heard it. You know this one? I think it's a new project. I'm here to listen to it. But you know this year, the Nigerians have actually dropped albums and I'm enjoying a few, but it's only one that I can't relate to. And that is him. Tim's album, I've listened to it for like more than two weeks. It's not sinking. But when I listen to Arastas, ah, Jesus Christ. Like, the year I turned 21, it was giving me. So this Rema's uh, album, I have to go and listen to it. But the first one is nice. Hey, 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 hey. And Benny Boyce is also good. Benny Boyce. With Charlie Poppy. Have you listened to that? Hey, yeah, Producer, you've not listened to this one. Touchdown Bini boys gang 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 money I got money Nobody has to do this song Hey let me stop it let me do this And I will do this Hey 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 Let me try that let me try that let me try that You know the King Junior guy One of his fans wrote to me on Facebook that Maybe he didn't understand the question You see I explained that he said He doesn't listen to them He said oh maybe the guy didn't understand the question but it's not like he doesn't listen to them. We shouldn't do any agenda. I said, ah, I didn't even reply. The person said it. Why should I do this thing? Eh. Uh -huh. I'm trying to remember, like, one of his songs are uh, coming to him, but nothing is coming. Eh. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm going to do it. Hey! So cool! Hey! Hey! Yes, I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going let me live my life, you know, say we all go die. 
Okay, so I mean, we are wrapping up the conversation on ER Extra on Metro Television Social. So, girl and I are channel watching. And I'm going to give you something from Smoke himself, Kweku Play Man. And I don't know if it's been, it's been a long time you heard from him, but he's been doing things overseas. And he did something amazing in the motherland. So, I want you to check this one out and also enjoy Tactus, Mactus, your Tactus. And then we come back and we wrap up on the show. and I'm wrapping up um, all that we have said on ER Extra. Uh, I will be seeing you next week, but then remember to make time and watch it. It will be on Metro TV Social, on TikTok, on Snapchat, on Facebook, and also probably on X. And you can follow me on Facebook, Nana Ya Tanoa Boache. The Nana and the Ya are together. And then on Instagram is Nana Ya Tanoa B. You can catch all that you need from my handle or also Metro TV Ghana. My name is Nana Ya Tanoa Boache. Enjoy the rest of our Wine, do you move your coin? Do they be a playman? Do they be a hoot? Do they be a crowd coming around?